Hey everyone, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine, and in today's Inkscape video, we're going to be talking about text and font. So let's go ahead and get started. And just a reminder, Inkscape is a free program that you can download at inkscape.org. It's similar to Adobe Illustrator from what I've been told, but it is just a free program. So there's a little bit of a learning curve to it, but that's why we're doing these videos. So anyway, just to, to get into text and font, as you can see, on the left hand side of the toolbar on Inkscape, there's all these icons. We're gonna to go to the A icon, that's create and edit text objects. I'm gonna click on that, then click anywhere on my screen and start typing whatever text I wanna type. All right, so after I type out what I want, I'm gonna go over to the left hand side again, go to the top and select this cursor arrow, select and transform objects. And I'm going to keep my uh, object locked, meaning I'm going to go up to the top toolbar right here, make sure it's locked. If it's not locked, when you resize it, it could just distort the, the view of it. So anyway, it is locked. And I'm going to go ahead and just resize it just so you can see it a little bit better. And now if I want to um, upload it to my Glowforge or my laser cutter. I'm going to have to make a change really quick before doing that. So I'm going to go back up to path up the top toolbar up here and select object to path. So as you can see, it doesn't look like it changed anything, but it did. It made it compatible with your laser cutter so that you can properly print it. Otherwise, it wouldn't show up if you uploaded it to your machine. So that's one thing you need to know about that. I'm gonna go ahead and sh show you how to change the font. So I'm gonna go back and type it in again. And this time, if I wanna change the font, I'm gonna go up to text on the toolbar up here and select text and font. So now this little box will pop up on your screen and it will show all the different fonts that you have on your computer. So you can select whatever font you choose to select and it will change it for you. So if you just select, I'll just select Arial and click apply and it will change it for you. Now I'm gonna touch base on changing your stroke color. So let's go ahead and select the first font I had. And if I wanna change it to a certain stroke color in order to score it or cut it on my machine, I'm gonna go ahead and go down to my color options on the bottom right here. The stroke color that I personally use for scoring is blue. So I'm gonna show you how to do blue. I'm just going to right click and set stroke. And then I'm gonna go over to the far left side where there's no color with the X. I'm gonna click on that for a no fill color. So as you can see, this particular font is cursive and all the little all the letters need to be connected in order for it to cut or score properly or even engrave as well. So we need to fix that issue because as you can see, they're all connected to each other, but they're not one unified piece. So in order to do that, you're gonna go up to object and click ungroup. So now each individual letter is ungrouped. And then we're gonna go back up to path and click union. So now it is all one unified piece and it will cut as one unified piece or score or engrave as well. If you wanted to engrave it, you could just simply change the color, the fill color. So I use pink for my engraving. You can use whatever, whatever color you want. And then I'm gonna select the X again, but I'm gonna right click it and set stroke for that. So there's no stroke color. So if I saved this to my computer and uploaded it to my Glowforge machine, it would recognize it as a engrave option. So I could go ahead and engrave it however I want to. And now I'm going to touch base on how to find different fonts online. So what I use a lot of the time is 1001fonts.com. You can use whatever you prefer. There's a lot of different websites out there. You can also use Creative Market. They have a lot of really nice fonts that you have to pay for. But if you want something for a personal use, this is a really easy one to go to. And you can filter out whichever 
fonts you want to look for. So you can also type in the text to see what, what it would look like with that particular font. So if I wanted handwritten, I could select handwritten, modern, calligraphy. There's a ton of different options for that. For now, I'm just going to keep it on script to show you that. So on the right hand side right here, you can see this red tag. It is only to be used for personal use for this particular font, but you can also purchase it for commercial use as an option. The green tag means it is free for commercial use. So just to keep that in mind as well. So if you wanted to go ahead and download the, this precious font, you would just go ahead and click download and install it on your computer. And after you click install, you just X out of that. And then you go back to Inkscape. And this is where you would need to close out of Inkscape and reopen it in order for that font to be uploaded properly. And once you reopen Inkscape, it will be there for you. So that's pretty much the gist of text and font. I hope that was helpful for you. If you need some more helpful tips and different ideas, please feel free to join our new Facebook group. It's called Students of the Forge. I'll link that in the description box below. Also, if you're interested in buying your own Glowforge machine, please feel free to use my referral code listed in the description box below on where you can get money off. Plus, I would get credits too, which means my family would truly appreciate. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.